Well, the theme for today, much like how the theme for yesterday was going downhill, the theme for today is shitty bike games. Now, for as much hype, what do you do? You, okay, here's a, here two tips for the people. Okay, shiny side on the outside. Yeah. Heavy duty foil. All That's right. That's what you want to use. I I like to. Fold so that we get a shiny side on both sides. Yeah. But that's just me. All right. And then you just kind of. Wow. It doesn't really matter no. the shape. You can just kind of. For as much as you guys were clamoring for this game, it didn't get all that many votes. But I think you guys will see fairly soon. I think you guys will appreciate. I don't know what game it is, but it usually has a good sense of. Whatever. Oh no! Oh, God. God damn it. In fresh three. You wanna, you wanna... Fucking Valcon. <laughs> Real physics for intense sensation. Jump and tricks. I'm taking off my goddamn. Taking off your what? Steph. All right. Why is that the default name? I don't know. How many letters do you get? It and would have to be this game to give you <laughs> enough letters. Enough, yeah. <laughs> what the shit? What a cunt. <laughs> All right. The return of what a cunt. Unfortunately, we could not uh do that. And also, you guys are pretty quiet for for what's about to go down. Yeah. This incredibly. I mean. Good. I thought. Game. I hope nothing happened to my stream. I'm not asking. This isn't like, hey guys, if you can hear me, please say something. But I mean. Well, now that you've said that. Yeah, you now they're going is. to. <sighs> Freedom. Freedom isn't free. Freedom isn't free. It's never free. Also, I should update. Oh, yeah. The... I love how Five Twitch. Day replay, day two. I love how day Twitch gi gives you, like, a whole paragraph. Why do I keep hitting the caps lock? You're an idiot. Mount, uh, mountain bike adrenaline isn't even g Oh my god, it's in there. How do they get... Whatever. Probably shouldn't be freezing up like this. Okay. Whatever. 
I'm just gonna reload. I'm just gonna refresh the page. We just encountered some freezing. Yeah, Maybe so. you guys have been saying something and I haven't been able to see it. Ever since Vanderpants's "What are you scheming?" message, because it appears to have logged me out somewhere along the way. Oh shit. Ugh, sorry guys, give me a, give me a little bit. On the road again. Go I like how the default again. option is to both log in and follow. Yeah, so now we definitely haven't seen anything you've been writing for the last, like, five minutes, but please give us, give us a second. A, another second, because we won't be able to see anything you're typing right now, either. It, it's really freezing up over here. Right, I'm gonna put the, uh... Shit, mountain bike adrenaline is, like, fucking freezing my computer. I can't even spell. Hold on. Oh, I can see Wade Job Car. Uh, I started up Mountain Bike Adrenaline as the bonus, but then Twitch, like, dropped me and gave me some pretty big problems. So, I think we're back up now. I think I can see you guys. With job car. Which, He's green. Oh. What should we do? Should we do stopwatch or challenge? Try to do freedom. Freedom isn't free. Freedom is never free. Hold on. Wasn't there like a spelling error in one of these? Uh, Let's see. Test your skill on downhill trails and cross country. No. Challenge? I think it was challenge. Test your concentration. concentration and precision on trails. Focusing. focusing. Yeah, focusing. Focusing. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. What about arcade? Maybe there's one on arcade. Perform impressive tricks and collect speed and jump boosts. Jesus. Lies. Lies. They all are. So, Wajab Car, if you're not familiar with this, this is this is a game called Mountain Bike Adrenaline, which, because the mountains are actually really fucking small, and the adrenaline is Nothing, not there. Not there. We call this game Hill Bike Boredom. Yeah. Um, you... And the name kind of stuck. Now, whenever I think about this game, I think of it as Hill Bike Boredom instead of... So you'll notice the, uh... This game is, like, the least optimized ev game ever. It had to, like, individually load every single bike. So you can see the, the the left column for the bikes has, um, just straight upgrades on the left column. Yep. And then the right column is just slightly different stats. Different and stats upgrades. and then straight upgrades, yes. So... If you favor resistance over braking... Uh, resistance and speed over braking... Yeah. Well, this is the only one you could do. And then riders. But we could choose between Karl Marx. No, and I'm pretty sure that was Mank. Mank and Karen. And again, very slight differences, which I think Straight are going to be. Yes. And incredible load times. Yeah. So um, do we favor power and concentration over recovery? I think we do. Yeah. And the helmet uh, does nothing if no, it's just cosmetic. 100% yeah. right. cosmetic. Then, uh, so this game is really, really clunky. Yeah. And it's basically just an advertisement for Salomon. Um, even though the intro said that it had featured uh, a all bunch the, of the brands. All the best brands. It features Salomon pretty much exclusively. Yeah. Um, Nothing but, basically. And... The music is horrible, and the game box makes it look like the game is in fucking HD or something. But when you play the game... And then there's, like, there's a hidden, like, power mode. There's, like, hidden sprint or something that the game doesn't even, like, bother telling you about. And oh, I, yeah, concentration mode lets I you go in slow motion. I do not remember there being this much controller vibration. Vibrating quite a lot. Incredible yeah. sensation. 
God, that sounds like something that a condom would have. <laughs> Tricks and jumping. Hillbike boredom for the win. Tricks and jumping it had. Yeah. Yeah. Rockette. I think I must have turned Wait. off all the controller vibrations. Rockette. Rockette, yes. Not rocket. Rockette. Is that a misspelling or... Oh yeah, so here's slow-mo. Which I accidentally... And it doesn't it doesn't slow down the timer, so it's just shit. Did it not? No. Oh. Yeah, the game is really clunky. Oh yeah, you get you get points called for a ninety degree turn even when you turn one hundred twenty two degrees. Yes. Yeah. I genuinely don't know how much I'm gonna do in this game because <laughs> it so bad got annoying really quickly. This should have been a let's not play, and we did a whole let's play. <laughs> well, we did a 30 minute let's not play, and then, oh yeah, tiny trees. Oh yeah, somebody in the thread was like, if you go up into the mountains, that's actually how big trees are. And I'll concede, it does slow I'll down concede. the timer a little. Like, a little, okay. But, um, I'll concede that trees get pretty small. I don't think they become, like, literally tiny Christmas trees. Like, they're the same model, only smaller. They grow in different ways when they're up at higher altitudes. And plus, lowering yourself 20 feet shouldn't make the trees this big again. Yeah. I mean, look at how big the trees are now. You you came down like 30, 40 feet, and your, your elevation changed that much, and the trees just became... Yeah. Oh, Maram S.A. I, I don't know who you are, buddy, but... You... Welcome! You are waiting this moment. You were waiting. waiting. You were like, moment. fuck Dave Muir, I want to get to this hill bike boredom. And are you bored yet? Oh god, I'm so bored. Have I been riding down hills? Have I? Some some of this is... Thirty-three <laughs> <laughs> percent Plane bike. Oh god, you hit retry. Oh right. Because the game defaults to retry even when you pass it. You remember how I was stuck on this event for like I think yeah because you had to go up that fucking hill to get to the south. Yeah. What? What? This is like the only music track in the game. Make some noise. What? God damn it! This music is horrible. I still kind of remember where most of the things are. You have a compass. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, kind of remember the path I took. Yeah, when, yep. when in doubt, just jump like crazy. break I wonder what this game got Reviews. a zero yeah music volume is that 60 let's just make it zero <laughs> ambient sound bump that up to 100 wait semi-automatic gear changing yeah. What the fuck does that mean? It means it's changing my gear, like, fairly often, actually. Why don't you, uh, make it not automatic? Because I don't remember how to change gears. It's hilarious how much garbage was made for PS2. Now it's garbage iPad games. Yeah. And Android games. There are a lot of really garbage Android games. Just mobile gaming. But see, the difference is... Okay, there is no fucking difference. Nope. Googling. I was about to type in hill bike boredom. <laughs> Mountain... You'll probably bike. get the same reviews. The ones that, like, jizz themselves. 
about, like, parts of the game, and then hate everything else. Oh, I was doing speed. Huh? You doing yeah, speed? Yeah, remember I do speed? Three out of five for my GN. Three out of five? Oh, I'm sorry, three out of ten. Okay, good. Three out of ten, my bad. <laughs> Still too much, but... Still too much, yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Retry should not be the default option. Uh, zero tweets about it. Just zero tweets. Uh, we should make the first tweet. Jesus Christ, this game came out seven years ago. Yeah. Ugh, I forgot. This game came out after Sonic 06. Yeah. That's horrifying to me. <laughs> so as, as if Sonic 06 is Sonic the, 06 is so much better than this Sonic game. Sonic 06 is the landmark for bad games should not be created after this point. Yes. <laughs> Especially right. for older generation consoles. It only got cheaper and cheaper to uh to, to make, make stupid shit for the PS2. I mean the PS2 was the console that, you know, seemed... They have one review from IGN. No other reviews on Metacritic. And the IGN review reads... Kill me. <clears throat> Where the fuck is this going? A title with two out of three correct descriptors isn't too bad. No, one out of three. One out of three, yes. As much as I like to bitch and moan about the games that are often pawned on me, getting the dregs of the review pile is part of the free a freelancer's job description. However, on very rare occasions, playing the stuff that most people would just pass off as an instant as instant crap can sometimes end up exposing you to something surprisingly fun. No, it is instant. Unfortunately, crap. Mountain Bike Adrenaline falls squarely into the crap category. Okay, good. But even as I bumbled through the game's clunky, unintuitive menus and regularly found my extreme that's what he wrote. Mountain biker getting high centered on various little rocks or riding straight up tree trunks, I couldn't help but feel like the game could have had been rather neat. Sure, it would have needed a far bigger budget and likely a much bigger development team, both of which are almost always the antithesis of a fifteen dollar game. But still, there's something. There's actually something to the basic design here. That design is throwing six riders down four different mountains on a handful of licensed com bikes from companies like Cannondale and Kona, and uh, putting helmets on them. Along the way, they can feebly jump and spin their bikes doing, while doing a whopping four horribly animated tricks. Yeah. The collision is horrid, and some of the challenges are as inane as they are impossible. But the <laughs> game can actually muster a decent sense of speed in the later courses, and, as bad as it looks, certain things like low-hanging, foggy little pockets of mist actually look good. I don't think I've noticed I, whatever he's... What I don't know what he's talking about. Again, it's the little things that perk up from time to time. Maybe it's a particular path that guides around corners just smoothly enough to send you hauling down, hauling ass down the mountain on the way to the next checkpoint during the stopwatch mode, or catching a speed boost in challenge mode. Sure, most of the game is an excruciating dance of restarts and cheap falling deaths. Tipping over backwards is often a fatal fall, according to the game, but plunging headlong, in, headlong into a pit of lava is just a normal fall. Yeah. But parts of the game, given a little more love, could have worked. Other wor other parts that just needed love. The wheelie challenges, sections where you're asked to pop a wheelie and then hold it while steering through a winding course, were actually a lot of fun and, fun and controlled well, but there weren't enough of them. The same can't be said for the dexterity challenges that necessitate you burn some of the time-slowing concentration meter by tapping circle to do things like make sharp turns, cross rail-thin sections of track, and so on. Not for... Th if not for things like weird collision and an auto-shift gear system that likes to step things up far too quickly, leaving the biker either hanging in place or burning through his stamina, which quickly refills when you're not pedaling, these little gauntlets would have been a lot more fun. Then again, those are problems systematic to MBA's whole approach. That approach also includes moments where the frame rate chugs and the resolution drops like a first-gen PS2 game, a camera that regularly gets buried in the sides of mountains, giving you a nice, clean shot of the world's skybox. Tons of geometry pop in as the game streams things off the disc, and character models that look look and move not unlike a PS1 character. Seriously, they have near rectangular legs. They do. They do. The audio is even worse. 
<laughs> with a half dozen tracks that don't stick to one genre and instead tend to butcher all of them. The ultra cheesy slow heavy guitar track almost works in a so bad it's good way, but the quasi hip hop song that just repeats yeah yeah and make some noise over and over again could probably be used to torture prisoners <laughs> of war. Yeah. Come on, come on, what, what? <laughs> Make some noise! Some of the bike sound effects, like changing gear and squeaking brakes, sound decent enough. But there are next to no actual sounds from the writers, which may or may not be good given the rest of the game's production values. And the game has next to no ambiance. The verdict? Short of downhill domination, there really hasn't been anything in the way of mountain bike a mountain biking game on the PS2, and a, the little glimmers of speedy paths found during some of the courses, and even some of the bigger jumps in Mountain Bike Adrenaline show that it could, it could be a decent idea, an SSX without snow, if you will. Of course, it would, be, it would require a deeper trick system, a better approach to attacking the hardware, and likely a little more in the way of interesting characters and a more refined approach to displaying the challenges. It definitely could be done. 3.0, awful. I like that they referenced downhill domination in that. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my shit! Like he was saying. <laughs> like, Jesus Christmas. What the was fact that? that you have to use the D-pad to control the goddamn camera to keep, the, to keep it from jamming straight into the side of a fucking mountain is just bad. They should have fixed that before release. <sighs> Christ almighty. That is a pretty great review, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't tend to. I mean, I don't really read reviews all that much anymore. I used to, but I don't really read that much anymore. And it's like he wasn't trying to be like super funny about it or anything. He just honestly described. Pretty Christ, much. Christ Almighty! Look at this. I'm sorry for the times I stumbled over my words. I Watch out! Heavy landings and major after major jumps and falls will have a detrimental effect on your damage gauge. What? What does your damage gauge um, do? There are no other riders! I... There is a damage gauge, and actually once you lose all your damage, you just die. Like, the, the thing ends. It's... Fatal fall? It's the little... It's the guy on the motorcycle next to your concentration bar. He's not even on a goddamn mo mountain bike. He's mountain on a bike. goddamn motorcycle. <laughs> Maybe mountain bike. No, that's a motorcycle. Also, it keeps disappearing. <laughs> You're right. It does. Why is it vanishing? But see, I lost some... I lost some of that because I, like, stumbled against a rock. Oh, you know what? It was blinking because you were in concentration mode. No, 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 use jump to get out of that. No, I, like, lost a shit ton of time because this thing makes me want to kick myself. Not, yeah. not, not kill. It makes me want to kill myself. I'd want to put a Watching boot. you play another I'd game. I'd want to put a boot in my own ass. I want to... You know, I know some people. And if this is too much, because bikes were, like, the thing... There is one other shit bike game bonus we could... Jesus. Oh. Dead. Maybe? Partly? You uh, lost a tiny bit of health from that. Wow. It was, a, it was a tactical fall. I needed to get back up anyway. Also, I love how, like, second through fifth gear are completely worthless... Because first gear basically lets you climb vertical walls, and sixth gear lets you go so much faster. Yeah. That second through fifth are kind of, well, I, they're just extremely small changes. You know what? Every time I hear the gear changing noise in this game, you know what it sounds like to me? And this what? is going to sound really weird. What? A robot chewing robot bubble gum. That, oh... Like an actual robot chewing the robot equivalent of bubble gum. <laughs> I don't really understand, but... I won the silver medal. Yay! I don't believe in silver medals. Hey, we, I, I believe we can... What? Oh, shit. What? You don't believe in silver medal. What? If people believed in silver medals, we'd never have gold medals. You know... When you're playing all by yourself, there's no one else to compete against you. Silver, bronze, and gold lose their meaning. 
Power slide. I don't know, I guess we're competing against something along the way, but I don't know what. You know, we're we competing never, against our own aspirations. We never completely got a plot fleshed out. Did there need to really be one? Something has to pass the time. End up with shit like that. You got credit for going 16 miles per hour. <laughs> Maybe I maybe I will just settle for a silver because I don't know what they were expecting me to do. I thought I was going fast enough. The fucking shores of slowdown. Shores of slowdown, yeah. I'm you have the second less, best I'm score. literally less than a second from the gold medal. Whatever. But what what were you talking about? What should I do? Kill yourself. Okay. Anything else? You quit this game. Anything else? Kill yourself and then quit this game. Anything else? Actually, do. Kill myself and then quit this game? No, no, the other way. Quit the game and then, oh my god, the rocks have slowed down. Maybe I should just kill Imports. myself and then quit the game. The bike of slowdown? What the hell is going on? It's those fucking rocks. If I left the vibration on, my controller would, like, literally have died by this point. That fast God speed. Damn. Jesus. This game. <laughs> the cock. Oh, this is the same course. <laughs> it is, like, the exact same We have course. to do the same shit. Oh, see, I see what he's talking about. The mist there? That doesn't look too bad. It is also causing an enormous slowdown. No, 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 that's just the sand. Oh, the sand, yeah. I beat the objective by 16 seconds. I either crush it... He says, uh, there's more shit bikes. Sure. Nope, send me in anyway. Back really just means keep going. <laughs> you can't stop. So yes means yes, and no also <laughs> means, means yes. yes. According to Mountain Bike Adrenaline. Yeah. Actually, would I even want to play the other bonus game? Hang yourself afterwards? <sighs> I might. Okay. Well, then maybe not. I mean, how are we going to do five-day re- We could do challenge. Yeah, let's just do some- It's gonna like completely. S no. No. Okay. I think no. he just meant bikes, as in like oh, riding more bikes. bikes. Well, yeah. we'll we'll do challenge. In challenge mode, don't hesitate to use concentration mode. mode on the difficult sections. I'm surprised you can even read that. It's literally like blockier than it is. It's legible. Blobs of. Yeah. What? If I... Alright. Hold on one second. Hold on, guys. on one second. Turn on... All right, so we're hearing we're hearing dexterity trails now. Again, the one good thing about this is that if you crash, it just restarts you completely, which I consider a good thing because if you would have crashed and it would have sent you back to the start but not reset the timer, then I'd have just restarted the fucking thing because I mean, the timer assumes you won't have crashed. But yeah, these dexterity sections are kind of dumb. And oh yeah, I remember you like can't ride outside of the cones at all. Nope. Like if I fell down a little early right there, it would have reset me. <laughs> but I you mean, have the best score. Look, I I go through it and I beat it by twenty three seconds because. I can't mess up or I'll crash and it'll restart me. So I have to go through it perfectly, but by beating it perfectly, I be win by 20 fucking seconds. Oh, but now we have a new bike. All I needed to do was get that one gold medal. So... 
I guess I'll just do more of these and... Jesus, look at this fucking cheat. <laughs> That's the least creative fucking cheat I've ever seen in, in, in my entire life. We're looking up cheats because I kind of got... We kind of got something planned going on. So yeah. yeah, gratuitous use of concentration mode suddenly makes everything, like, much better. <laughs> what? I was just remembering. Yeah, I, I, I know what that's from, but... Mist. I think the mist might be the Wait, best part did of I this miss? Game. No, no, I'm just saying the mist, M-I-S-T. Oh. I seem to be losing the things that are telling me where to go, like, constantly. Yeah. And you still have the best score, even though you went... I, you have 13 seconds extra. I did. And you still around. turned around and dicked around and looking for the, the thing. Yeah. We... Oh, oh, God. Tricks won. Wait, no. Tricks won wasn't that bad. Oh, you remember. Little jump. Nope. That wasn't a little jump. <laughs> you were in the air, you landed. That's a little jump by my reckoning. Half trick, no foot, triangle. That's a full trick, no foot. Yeah, they'll let you do... Half trick, no hand, square. 180 back, what? Half My God! Trick. So they couldn't. They couldn't. They couldn't figure out how to make like a region, an area where you're supposed to do the trick. So they have one little mound one for you to mound. do that on. Enormously stupid. Yeah. Incredibly retarded. They couldn't figure it out, so they just went. Good enough. I God want, damn it! <laughs> I want to get to a wheelie event. And then we can be done with this fucking game. I mean, what did you guys really expect me to do with this? Complain. Complain, yeah. Look at it. Jesus. Wrong way. Maybe you can jump this. Nice. With a little jump, just barely. Ah! Nice. <laughs> can you just kill your character? It's a fatal fall. No, no, I mean, like, lean back and just... Trying. Oh, God. No, remember, I can't kill myself with a wheelie. This is how I could stay up for, like, fucking forever. That's... Fatal fall. But diving headfirst into lava. Just fine. Just fine. That's a normal fall. <laughs> I want I wanna kind of try to wheelie this, but don't don't try to wheelie it. Alright, let's do it. do it. But my god, I'm so slow. Speed. I'm doing speed, guys. <sighs> do speed. I mean, I guess concentration mode does what it's supposed to. It slows the game down, but slows the timer down by a different ratio. Oh, God damn it. God fucking damn it. This is like... It, it's like they saw all those shitty, like, Mario hacks that make it really hard. And they thought, May maybe we should make a bike game that's just as stupid. No, it's like they invented those. Oh, they were the predecessor. Yeah. God. If you can't get in a fur, if you can't, you, you get in a straight line the first time, and none of the issues happen, and then you just like lose it all. Yeah. Sick to my fucking stuff. I have the third best score. I won a bronze medal. 
Okay, you remember how I said Crave makes me want to kill myself? Yeah. And how Crave makes me feel sick to me? I'm Valcon gonna, makes me more sick to I'm gonna myself. get to the wheelie event. I'm gonna get to the wheelie event and then we can be done. Okay. Valcon makes me more sick to myself. Because while Crave makes bad games, some of them are endearing. Valcon makes bad games that are bad. Yeah. This game... Crazy Frog. What? Where was I supposed to go? I was this in game. the. I was in the cones. Valcon made Crazy Frog. Yeah. Shit, I forgot that. Yeah. If Mountain Bike Adrenaline would have won, I mean, again, high. You guys think of you? Yeah, fuck. You guys were like, "Whoa, Mountain Bike Adrenaline!" But it still only got four votes. That Abomination got nine. R Razor Freestyle Scooter got eight, but five of them were Big Macs. Okay, god damn it. I'm just making stupid mistakes now. I'm just I'm just like I need to stop and actually do this. Okay. I'm in the cones. I was in the cones. Okay. <sighs> what the fuck? What? Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah? Valcon Games uh, publishes games that are overlooked for the U.S. market and also localizes games from other territories. They have not released any new products since 2011 and their cur website current redirects to Google. Their website redirects to Google. Games released. I'm gonna read these off and you tell me you tell me if any of these sound oh my god. These... <laughs> okay. Well, okay. I'll just read them. The Advent the Adventures of Shuggy. <sighs> Alpha Romero Alpha Romero Racing Italiano. I... Oh, shit. Uh... <clears throat> Chime. Don't know that one at all. Corvette Evolution GT. It came for the Nintendo DS and the PlayStation 2. <laughs> what a weird... Crazy Frog Racer 2. Yep. Dai Senryaku 7 Exceed. That's the only Dai Senryaku game that they did. All right. It's the seventh one in a series. Okay. Darkest of Days. They did Darkest of Days? They did Darkest of Days. Are they published Darkest of Days at least? I guess, yeah, for the 360. Easy Piano for a Nintendo DS. All right. Greed Corp. Greed, Greed Corp? Yeah. Xbox Live Arcade. Handsfree 10 Kate Honda SBK07 Superbike World Championship. Jeez. Talk about a mouthful. That was for the PSP and the PS2. History's Great Empires, Rome, for the Nintendo DS. Alright. I hope I can make my way to the Wheelie Challenge. I mean, I'm getting a lot of bronzes along the way. <clears throat> Horse Life Adventures <laughs> what? for Nintendo DS and Wii. James Pond, yeah, codename yeah. Robocod. They did James Pond? Codename Robocod? Is that a good game? I don't know. People mention it. Jin's IQ Challenge. <laughs> hey guys, you remember Brain Age? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hill Bike Boredom. Yep. Uh, Ocean Commander. Offshore Tycoon, Pirates Legend of the Black Buccaneer. 
Hillbike boredom, legend of the I'm stuck in a fucking rock. Legend of I'm still stuck in this fucking rock. Polar panic! Are we gonna. Polar pa Are we gonna do that? That was for. No, that was for PlayStation Fatal Network. Fatal Fall! Yeah. That was for PlayStation Network and Xbox Live, so. Raiden Fighters Aces. Okay. In 2005, they made Real World Golf. Alright. Riding Star. What the fuck is Riding Star? What would Riding Star be about? It doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Shepherd's Crossing. Ski Do Snow X Racing. Hmm. And its sequel, <laughs> Ski Do Snowmobile Challenge. <laughs> Suzuki Superbikes 2, Riding Challenge. There's thug life, then there's horse life. Says, Suzuki uh, TT Superbikes and Suzuki TT Superbikes Real Road Racing Championship. See, like, there were so many random racing games for the PS2. That's why I didn't really want to just pick, like, motorcycle racing games, because there's, like, hundreds of them. Uh, but here's a game we might do. Totally Spies, Totally Party. <laughs> For the Wii and PlayStation 2. In 2009, they made that game for the PlayStation 2. Yep. The Year of Our Lord 2009. 2009. Ultimate Board Game Collection. <laughs> Ultimate Boring Game Collection. And a game called Xotic. What? It's supposed to be Exotic, but it's the letter X, O-T-I-C. Xotic. I feel like there was some trick I used this one, but I can't remember it now. Turning off the game. Maybe. I mean, it, there's like these rocks that just slow you way the fuck down. But I think if you like go off of them, it resets you. Or, nope. Okay. And I'll just do that. The tree's popping in when you're, like, literally five feet. Yeah? It's horrendous. <laughs> it's absolutely awful. All right, now we're finally to a wheelie challenge, so let's just do that. Oh, and we unlocked Alex. There's thug life, and then there's, there's horse life. life. Yeah. All right, you guys ready for this sick wheelie challenge? Oh, shit. Here we go. Can I not? <laughs> Real life. So he just tilts the. Wait! Oh wait! 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 It ended it. Yeah. For me. So he just tilts the thing, the front wheel, and that somehow makes him turn. Is that the balance bar on the left? Yes. I don't see it moving at all. No, it's not. Oh, there it was, because I accidentally stopped holding the analog stick back. <laughs> Literally just hold it back, you won't fall. <laughs> Monster wheelie! Just, just stand around. Seriously, he doesn't... He can just tilt the thing, and that'll make him... That'll make him turn. That's insane! So when he said it controls well, he be, he meant it controls way too well. Yeah. You have the best score in the world. I beat the objective. Beat the objective by <laughs> 2,300 some shit. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to save. <laughs> I'm going to save. That's been enough for a mountain bike ass adrenaline. We do have another shitty bike game. So there are going to be two bonuses, unfortunately. It's just too good to pass.